Welcome back to Crochet Along with Miss Carol. Um, for our October project, we are going to be making a fingerless glove, um, or a pair of fingerless gloves. Uh, we will be using some regular acrylic yarn in a size 4, 5.0 or H sized crochet hook, a stitch marker, a yarn needle to weave in the ends so that it all looks nice and neat, and of course I have my pair of scissors handy to finish off my project. I have my pattern here, which I downloaded off of the website. You can find that if you go to our website, go to the programs menu, go all the way down to the bottom of that menu, and it'll say Youth Handouts. Click there. On the Youth Handouts, there's another link to crochet along with Miss Carol, and all of the patterns that we have done videos on will be there for you to print out and use if you um, like to have a visual pattern like I do. So go okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so first thing is to take your yarn. I like to put mine in a basket or a bowl of some sort so it doesn't roll away. Um, a bowl from the kitchen works. They they sell fancy yarn bowls, but the one I use at home is an old um, plant pot that works for me quite well. So I did my, my slip knot, put it on my hook, and the first thing my pattern tells me to do is to chain. Now, this is what's interesting. It says chain 26. And then in parentheses, it says 28 comma 30. You have the instructions here for three different sizes of gloves. Um, today, we're going to be working on the medium size. So I'm going to do a chain of 28. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Now, I'm going to take my chain. I'm going to make sure that it is all straight and it's not twisted like this. I want to make sure that all in a neat row. I'm going to turn it around and slip stitch into that first chain. And that I've made a circle. Now I am going to chain two and that will count as my first stitch. I'm going to go ahead and half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, go into my next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull that loop, pull that through all three loops on my hook. Half double crochet. All the way around, you should have 28 stitches because we um, connected our ends and added our first stitch as our turning chain. We do not lose any stitches on our chain to the turning chain. 
So we should have 28 stitches all the way around. And it can be a little tricky doing that first row and that chain eve. I've been doing this for 20 years and I still sometimes fuss with the chain. Maybe we'll, on my next um, project, I'll work in so that I can show you how to do a foundation stitch instead of using a chain. Oh, come on. And I've chosen a yarn that kind of splits, so it makes it a little harder. But once I get past this first um, foundation row, I'll be okay. All right, well, you don't need to sit here and watch me do 28 half double crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and do my double crochets, or half double crochets, and be back in a minute so I can show you the next step. So I have finished my first round or row, and I'm ready to slip stitch um, into the top of that chain two, turning chain at the beginning of my last row. Now, there's this stitch right here. Let me put that a little closer to, so you can see. It's right here. And that was the slip stitch I made. I do not want to stitch into that stitch when I go around. So I'm gonna leave that empty because that's not a half double crochet that's, or a chain, that's my slip stitch. So I'm going to skip that, slip stitch into the top of that first chain. And chain two. Again, that counts as my first half double crochet and starts my next row. And then I'm going to, oh, I have my marker right down here. I'm going to put a marker in that slip stitch. So when I get around to the end, I remember that's a slip stitch and not a half double crochet so that I don't stitch in that the next round. Otherwise, you're, I'll be adding a stitch every round and your fingerless glove will just keep getting bigger and bigger around. Okay, so we're going to just do the same thing. We're going to half double crochet, and of course it goes much easier once you're stitching into other half double crochet stitches. And we're going to go around all the way, 28 stitches.
So these gloves make great gifts for friends for Christmas. They're great stocking stuffers um, if you want to help Santa out. Or they make good just winter gifts for anybody that you care about. Um, you can use lots of different colors. Uh, variegated yarns work really well with this. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. And it's very simple and for, uh, straightforward to do. So we're around. I have one more stitch to do. All right. So here I am. I'm going to take this out so it's easy to work around. But remember not to stitch into that. Um, then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain. Do my two chains, put my marker into my slip stitch and I'm ready to do the next round. I'm going to do 14 rounds and it doesn't matter what size you're making. I found that 14 rounds tended to give it the length that I liked for my fingerless gloves. If you like yours a little longer to go farther up on your arm, you could do more, um, more rounds. If you like it a little shorter and more of just like a wrist cuff, you can do less rounds. Um, but 14 worked for me, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see you back here when we get that done. All right, so I am ready to start round 15. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to half double crochet around, but I'm only going to half double crochet for 23 stitches. Um, And it'll give me 24 stitches, including my chain two here at the beginning. So one, two, three, four, oops, split my yarn again, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So now that leaves one, two, three, four stitches that are unworked. I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to slip stitch into that starting chain or that first chain two stitch. And I'm going to go ahead and chain two to start my next row. Now that leaves a hole. I can take this out and put that in my slip stitch. So that leaves a hole. That's for your thumb to go through. Now it also is reducing our row by two stitches. 
so that it'll be a little snugger across your palm than it is around your arm. So from there, we're going to go half double crochets again. Twenty-three until we get to that yarn, the, that chain two space. Keep stitching, just keep stitching. Almost there. All right. So, here I am in that last stitch. Okay, and actually that was into the first chain. I'm going to go ahead and stitch into that second chain on that chain space. And I like to go ahead and do the extra work of putting it into the chain, but if you want to just do two half double crochets in that chain space, that works too. So here we are. I'm going to remove that. All right, I think I've got the hang of leaving that slip stitch out, so I'm not going to put that back in this time. But if you're still keeping, you might still need to use that slip stitch or that stitch marker to uh, remind you that you don't want to stitch into that slip stitch. So I'm slip stitching there. One, two. I am going to do two rounds now of half double crochet. And we'll come together at the end and I'll show you how to finish it off. I finished my last row. So including that row 15 where I left the hole for the thing, I have one, two, three, four rows of reduced stitches added to my first 14 for a total of 18 rows. And I have tried making these in different sizes. I've had my friends here at the library try them out. And we've all agreed that this is a good length for us. But like I said, if you want it a little longer, add a few more rows. If you want it um, to go higher up on your hand and cover your knuckles more, add a few more rows. It's easy to adjust it to the way that you want it. And for finishing, I didn't put any fancy borders or anything on here. I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch again into the top of that chain two, just like I did with every other row. And then finish off and leave myself a tail long enough that I can sew in the ends. We have sewn in enough ends on our projects that I'm sure you know how to do that. Remember, I weave up, oh, maybe an inch and a half or two inches, and weave back and weave up three times the charm to keep that from coming unraveled when you throw these in the washing machine, uh, which you might need to do if you wear them often once it gets cold and you need something to keep your hands warm. Thanks for joining me. Remember that Crochet Along with Miss Carol has gone to a quarterly program so our next um, video will be released on January 15th in the next quarter. 
Have a wonderful winter. Thanks.